Dr. Bruce Tufts from Queen's University is the author of over 100 research papers pertaining to fisheries biology and runs a lab dedicated to learning more about the physiology of fish, particularly as it relates to sport fishing. With a look at the science of fishing, here once again are Dr. Bruce Tufts and the host of Getting Schooled, J.P. DeRose. Hi, I'm J.P. DeRose. We're here with Dr. Bruce Tufts from Queen's University. And today, you know what? We're going to take our rods, we're going to head out on the water, do some fishing, and we're going to get some great answers on some of the science behind why and when we catch fish. Sounds good. You know, Bruce, a lot of guys uh, all over North America either have private ponds or stock ponds, or they're trying to enhance the fishery that they're on on the lake they're on. What are the do's and don'ts when it comes to either stocking or introducing new species into a lake? Well, actually stocking is one of those topics that's been around for a long, long time. I think uh, that's probably because in most fishermen's minds, they're, they're always trying to think of a way to improve their fisheries. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think what's happened is a lot of people have stocked different water bodies thinking they're doing a good thing, and it's actually turned out very badly. The reason for that is that there are food webs set up in every different water body in a certain way and whenever you add more of a given species or a new species into that water body you're going to affect the balance that's already there. Uh, something's got to give and in a lot of cases when people have added a new species they've actually knocked off a species or knocked down a species that was native to that water body and so there's a danger to that and then there's always the potential of adding something that you're not even aware that you're adding. A lot of fish uh, carry diseases that are latent diseases that you may not see uh, in that specific animal at the time, uh, but then it can proliferate when they get into the water body and they can pass that on to the uh, native fish that are there and all of a sudden you've got a huge problem. So I think the biggest thing I can say about stocking is probably that it's not always a bad thing. Uh, there's certainly been a lot of great success stories with stocking, but it's best done in consultation with fisheries management personnel, with biologists, with people that can look at the whole water body and evaluate the whole situation before stocking fish because it's something that has to be very carefully thought out before it's done. Here are Bruce's key points when it comes to stocking a body of water. Food webs are sensitive and stocking additional or new species will affect the balance. Adding a new species could accidentally eliminate an existing species or spread disease. So it's best you consult with fisheries management and biologists prior to stocking. 